Imagine a circle all around you, like this big, bright circle of light. And that circle represents perhaps how good you feel. Something like long-lasting fulfillment or inner peace, or some might call it how zen you feel. Nothing to do with short-term dopamine rush. Someone with a small circle, well, you might say they're suffering quite a lot. And someone with a big circle, well, everything just feels truly great for them. So it's natural that we want our circles to be bigger. And then what we do is we come across these other people and they got these big circles. We can just sense that things just flow for them and they're confident, they're charismatic and their energy feels great. And so naturally, we try to emulate what they're doing in a way. Now it's usually pretty clear that they've got this one thing in life that's doing most of the legwork. So we wake up motivated and say, I'm gonna get in such freaking amazing shape like them, or I'm gonna start a business and I'm not gonna stop until I've got a million dollars, or I'm gonna figure out how to easily make hot women want me, or I'm gonna learn so much and I'll be so interesting. And so then we press really hard in one of these areas so that our circle gets bigger, but we don't realize that when we push really hard in one area, it doesn't make our circle smoothly expand. It makes one section of it stick out totally unnaturally. And we can push that part out a little bit and everything's still fine, but once we push harder and harder, because we notice our circle isn't expanding the way we want because we don't feel the way we're expecting to feel, the circle begins to strain and it's taking so much energy to push this part of the circle out and the rest of the circle is really suffering. And it's not because of some typical saying like money doesn't buy you happiness. It's not that. It's not even that we're neglecting areas of our life. That's not it. It's simply this pushing because we're not meant to push and surely not in the direction of someone else's result, someone else's idea, someone else's path that they came up with. The only way that circle can start naturally expanding again is to let go of the energy we're using to push on the one or the few things we're pushing on. And that can be scary because in a way that's a partial ego death because the pushing is a part of the ego. And if we let go of that pushing, we let go of the ego. And we see what happens when the ego isn't telling us, I got this, we're totally fine. We see what happens when we let go of our iron grip control.